hard to believe, but I'm actually here in Scotland. I'm walking from the airport, which you can see behind me, to the train station, so I can catch a train into Inverness, the city. It's Inverness Airport, but we're actually way outside the city. Um, just landed about 30, probably 40 minutes late. The flight was late to take off. Uh, it was interesting, but my bag was the second one off on the conveyor belt, so I was pretty happy about that. So, other than that, uh, what can I say? We got in early on the first flight, and we got in late on the second one. So, it's all good. Look at this view. It's beautiful. I'm gonna turn around. There you go. That's it. I can't believe I'm actually here. I'm going to be doing this. You can see by the sign I have a little bit of walking to do. Not a big deal. Warming up. Uh, it's 11 something here. I've been on the go since yesterday, Eastern time. It's 11 o'clock here now, which means it's actually like six in the morning. I slept very little on the first flight. I didn't sleep at all. The second flight, I probably got maybe an hour. It broken up. Uh, there was a uh, child on the plane that uh, was not happy. And they have this nice uh, paved walkway for you to go from the airport to the train station. It's a little bit of a distance. I think it was 1,400 yards. So could do the math on that. It's one o'clock. I made it to my bed and breakfast that I'm staying at. I just met the owners, very nice uh, people. Uh, gave me a little brief um, history of the area. Not too much. Uh, the house itself, it's uh, quite an old house. It's built in the 1800s. I got a map of the area and some advice on some sightseeing stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna go out and try and hit a couple of sites today. And then uh, tomorrow I'll probably try to go to the uh, outdoor store. I may hit it today if I pass by it. I do think I saw one close to the um, train station, but I wasn't sure and I was really concentrating on getting here. So I'll probably do a little sightseeing, maybe go out for dinner a little later. I am very messed up time-wise. It is one o'clock here. I got here about 15, 20 minutes ago. We, we were talking a little bit and giving me the lay down of how it works here. Maybe a little longer. But it's 8 o'clock at home. I have really not slept. I think I slept maybe an hour on the second flight. Uh, unfortunately, there was a younger child who was really screaming and making a lot of noise. Uh, there were a lot of unhappy people on that flight. The flight was also delayed about an hour. So um, I really didn't get much sleep. So I'm very, very tired. For me, it's like I stayed up all night because it's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, no, 8 o'clock in the morning um, with a little bit of sleep. So it's almost like I you know, double back to work, whatever. Which fortunately I'm very used to flexing my schedule a lot. I work all different hours, but tonight there's gonna to be a price to pay for that. Um, other than that, um, had a great trip, uh, more or less. Uh, the second flight was delayed a little bit, probably about an hour. The first flight actually got in an hour early, so I had like a three and a half hour layover as opposed to an hour and a half that I was supposed to have. But it was really weird. You have to leave one terminal, get on a train, take it to another terminal, and then go through security all over again. Um, one interesting thing is there are no officers there. It's almost all automated. There's people, you know, obviously to interject if you're doing something wrong, but they basically stay back and the whole process is almost automated. You put your passport in. I, I'm assuming it does a scan of your face, probably facial recognition, confirms who you are or whatever. I'm assuming on some database or whatever. And then it opens up the door and you can walk in and then you're in the country technically. Uh, your passport doesn't get stamped or anything, which um, I kind of would have liked actually in a way. So I'd have a stamp in my uh, 
passport, maybe. But uh, other than that, um, very good, very good experience. For it. We're going to very, very hectic though. Amazing how busy it was, even at you know six o'clock in the morning, um, London time. And there were a lot of people you can tell from the coronation as well. Uh, they were some intoxicated. You can smell on them, and some of them just from the garb they were wearing. They were still wearing you know crowns and party shirts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna get myself uh, a little situated in here and uh, wash up, and then I'm gonna probably hit the streets. And this is the Martin House. This is where I'll be staying. Uh, for the next two and a half days till Wednesday when I leave. So um, I just left uh, there. I checked in with home, let them know I arrived safely, uh, and I'm walking to a supermarket. I'm going to try and check it out to see if I can get some maybe uh, meals to cook there that might be a little cheaper than the you know, camping meals, which are like five and a half pounds a piece. So if I can buy maybe some like Norse sides or pasta dishes, It'll be a little cheaper. Got that beautiful uh, church in front of me with the tall spire and the bridge. Um, Got to also remember to look <laughs> to the right first and not the left when crossing the street. <laughs> Already figured that one out. So oh, I'm walking down the Ness River. I just stopped in a store, um, Tesco, which is like a big supermarket. And um, looks like they have some food I'll be able to buy there. Some dehydrated meals uh, and cheaper. I'm gonna go still go to the um, uh, camping goods store tomorrow and see if I can get stuff there as well. But I may just buy a little less and buy some other meals to supplement it. I'm going to continue down this walkway, but I just bought my first Iron Brew, or which is the national uh, drink of Scotland. Basically, it's more popular than Coke here. Um, it's supposed to be like an orange flavor, but to me it tastes almost like a bubble gum. Like an off, like a bubble gum and orange combined. It's not bad, but it's not something I would probably normally drink either. So, but I'm having one while I'm here. I'm using this walkway along the riverside. I'm gonna go over this bridge here. I was told it shakes when there's people on it. So, but I'm not gonna, I may go a little further and then walk back this way. So, but nice to see a uh, uh, area with a, like a promenade, I guess, for a walkway. And um, it seems to be very well used. Uh, I see a lot of families. There's um, some f equivalent of food trucks up the road I just passed, about five food trucks. And there was a, also a store selling like snacks and ice cream. And people are out here enjoying the warmer weather, I guess, for Scotland. In this area, they said it's been a really cold winter. But uh, it's now uh, quite warm in the 60s. But it's dropping, it's cooler. I didn't want to record with people walking uh, toward me. But um, it's getting overcast now, the temperature's really dropping. You can definitely tell it's uh, getting cooler. I was. Uh, Regretting the fact that I didn't bring my jacket with me. This is the River Ness. You can see there's uh, there in the middle where it's obviously you can stand up there. There's uh, rocks, but you can see how turbulent it is over here. There's a pretty strong tide going out right now. I'm here on the River Ness. This is a beautiful area where um, there's all these rocks and shallow area, and people are out. You can see kayaking behind me and. I don't know if that's windsurfing. Uh, it's probably kayaking. Uh, but a family member has asked me to grab them a stone from my visit here, so I'm gonna do that now. I was gonna take it from when I started, but seeing as how this area is here now, I'm gonna take one. And here's me picking a rock that I will be carrying back for a family member. And there it is, that's the rock that's gonna be coming home with me. I'm still along the River Ness. 
Look at this beautiful uh, field they have. There's mountains in the distance. Just absolutely great. And here's a company, I guess, that does kayaking. How you doing? Good job. <laughs> Cautioning people not to go in the water because it sometimes flows very fast. It can be deceiving. I'm gonna walk across this old bridge, goes to the Ness Islands, and then comes back on the other side and takes me downtown. Oh, wait. Starting to feel some rain. This might not be a good idea. I'm walking on an island now that's in the center of the river nest. So the river is on both the left and the right side of this island. And there's a bridge up ahead that'll take me to the other side of the other bank. And then I can make my way back. I'm gonna head back because it's getting cold and I felt a couple of raindrops. As you just saw from that sign, this is the Great Glen Way. This is a trail that uh, you can take. One of the established trails, I guess, probably a national trail, um, that ends up here in Inverness along and follows the river and the Caledonian Canal, I believe. And I definitely feel more raindrops, so I don't have my rain gear with me. It's back at the, the bed and breakfast. I uh, feel a couple more raindrops. Scotland's definitely living up to its reputation for rain, I believe. It's cloudy, and I see probably some rain clouds where I'm going. It's about a 25-minute walk back to the hotel, probably a little bit over a mile. So I'm going to keep walking on this path and head back that way. Then I'll see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll go out for dinner early, try to get back to the room, repack, and uh, go to bed early. And from now on, the opposite bank. That's the bank where I took the rock from. And I'm walking back downtown. Uh, it's getting cloudier and the temperature's definitely dropping. It's feeling a little cold. So, uh, looks like the rain clouds just dropped a little sprinkle, but missed us. So, I'm going to keep walking, do a little further walk, and uh, explore a little bit. And I'm probably going to go back to the hotel, try and get some dinner maybe early, and then maybe do a little packing, but probably go to sleep early. Um, didn't have any success with all my shopping, but I definitely know I can go back to Tesco and get some uh, good buys there. So, I'll go tomorrow. To do some more shopping. Well, I'm back at my room at the bed and breakfast. I've been walking for about two, two and a half hours. It's about 3.30 now. I think I left here a little after one, or just about one o'clock. Um, Got a lot of steps in. I uh, went up the bank of the Ness River and came back down the other side. Went back toward the downtown area a little bit, but did go down back toward the rail station that I came from. I'm um, going to take a little break. I am very, very tired. Um, I'm forcing myself to stay awake because I don't want to go to sleep early because then I'm afraid I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll still be thrown off by the time. So I'm forcing myself to kind of stay awake. I figure I'll go to sleep early maybe like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock here, and try and put myself back on a normal schedule for um, this time zone. I'm five hours off of what I'm used to, so I don't want to be waking up at like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, you know, because I think it's 6 or 7 o'clock. Well, I'm back at the bed and breakfast after my dinner. 
a little walk. I went down another street or two and went through the marketplace. Um, most everything was closed. Unfortunately for me, um, when I planned this, I didn't know it was going to be coronation weekend. And I guess there's a holiday tomorrow as well. So a lot of businesses are going to be closed on Monday as well. So they'll open up on Tuesday. I will go to the um, uh, outdoor store and I'll look for the things I need. I need to buy a lighter. I keep forgetting that, but I need to buy a lighter so I can uh, cook. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. I may have to buy two of them though in a package and just leave one behind here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is obviously get water. I've been having trouble finding one liter bottles for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I can buy them in a package of like six, but I can't buy them individual. I find 600, 700, and 1.5 liters. So it's, that's 600 milliliters, 700 milliliters, and 1.5 liters. But I'm not finding a one liter bottle, except for these weird uh, flavors, which I may just buy just to get the bottle. Um, I'd like to be able to carry at least one liter, maybe one and a half. So I'll keep looking around. Maybe I'll go into a store tomorrow. I checked a bunch of the stores here, uh, the co-ops. Uh, they have the larger size, 1.5 liters. And actually up, I've seen two liters and actually a five liter bottle <laughs> of water. But um, I guess if you're buying for your house, you're not going to carry that. Uh, then I had a really good day. It's been busy. I'm tired. Uh, it is almost 6 o'clock now here. Um, so I started my journey 25 hours ago at home. And I've, you know, lost five hours in the time zone. Um, didn't really sleep much. So I'm really, really tired. Um, I just had a drink. So hopefully that's going to help me go to sleep too. Uh, that that uh, beer was pretty good actually wasn't very strong, so I did like it. I'm probably also very hungry and tired. I haven't had anything since this morning when I was on the plane. Uh, they gave us uh, actually dinner and then breakfast because uh, the flight was so long. Um, it was eight and a half hour flight. Well, seven, more like seven, seven and a half because we picked up a good tailwind. Um, my flight was delayed this morning, like I said. So uh, it's been a busy day. I've been on the go. Uh, to do some walking and sightseeing, so... That's good. I'm probably going to not really mess with my gear too much. I have a feeling I'm going to be up really early in the morning before I told them I would eat breakfast here. So I don't want to make them make breakfast and me not eat it. So I'll probably just repack my gear and go through it. Um, probably end up wearing the same clothes again tomorrow. And then maybe try to wash them tomorrow and let them dry. I'll see how that goes. I did notice there's a laundromat around the corner or cleaner. I don't know if there's a laundromat. I'm going to look for that. I'll ask them. I don't know if they have. Uh, I don't know if they have uh, clothes washing here, like a washer and dryer. Um, but I'll ask. If not, I may just rinse out some stuff and let it dry. Uh, I don't know if it will in the room so much. I may have to hang it outside. Um, just feet are a little sore. I walked a lot today. I don't know how much I've walked. How many miles? I didn't. I should have set my uh, watch actually and seen how that worked, but. I'm going to charge everything up again. Um, I've been charging up everything while I went out. So my um, my GPS, my MP3 player, my light, my headlamp is all charged up. The only thing that's not charged up right now is my watch and my phone, which is charging right now. And um, I actually have my battery pack set on charge as well. And it looks like it, it doesn't show full yet. I don't know why, but it's been going almost all day. So, But I'll leave it overnight, let it charge. So everything should be fully charged for when I leave on Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm going to try and uh, do some errands. Like I said, go by um, and get the groceries I need, the food I need. I might buy extra so I don't have to worry about it as much when I'm traveling. Although I don't think food's going to be a problem. I can always find something. There's plenty of, uh, like, they're not uh, nor pasta sides, but they have other brands here. Or ramen noodles or so, uh, something similar. So, shouldn't be a problem. Um, that's it. Long day. Uh, good day. Uh, it was nice walking around a little bit. Uh, there are a lot of sites to see here. There's a, there's a lot of history here, obviously. Um, some of it's kind of built up. Uh, some history is obviously being replaced with new buildings and things like that. But the history is still here if you look for it. And um, I'll try and visit some of the places tomorrow as well and I have Tuesday so I have ample time 
I guess I could have came a day later too, but I was worried at the time when I booked this, there was a lot of cancellations and pilot shortages. So I didn't know. I wanted to give myself an extra day or two just in case travel became a problem. Um, but that's all I've got. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably do another one maybe tomorrow and the next day combine them and then obviously my day traveling to Dorney. I'll have a little bit more to do on that day. So thank you. Till we meet again.